this is my GBC quote-unquote tower module and it is a module designed to capture some of the attributes that I liked of the GBC fountain and discard some of the features that I did not like. Fundamentally, it is just a stepper module, but whereas most steppers go in a linear fashion, this one goes in a circular one. And this is such that you can easily make it as tall or as short as you want, hence the extensible part. Much like the fountain, the basic principle behind the tower is actually pretty simple. Uh, what's going on is that inside here, you've got this pillar that moves up and down. While the pillar moves up and down, balls will move from uh, the pillar to a ledge, back to the pillar, to the next ledge, and so on and so forth, and it'll go up in this spiral. The pattern of the tower and the pillar itself uh, repeats every four bricks. So basically, to make the tower taller, all you have to do is keep adding uh, the same pattern of bricks over and over and over. Uh, the only quote-unquote issue, I guess, is that the granularity is you have to make it in increments of four bricks. You can basically build this as tall as you want as long as your drivetrain is strong enough to drive it. Though I have built in a provision to put a counterweight uh, which should help. The other thing that I like about this design is that even though it takes up a lot more parts, uh, the balls don't get trapped in there after you start the machine, unlike the fountain. If you stop the flow and you let it run, it will eventually empty itself out. And here is a shot of the tower with the top off, and you can see the balls moving up the tower as the pillar moves up and down. Again, like the fountain, the tower needs to be fed one ball at a time, so it needs an agitator to prevent balls from jamming up at the entrance. In this case, you can leverage the existing vertical movement of the tower to build a very simple and very effective agitator. If you peel away some of the CAD model here, you'll see that the agitator is just an attachment to the tower, so it moves up and down uh, in sync with the tower. And this is not only very easy, but it synchronizes the feed. Finally, we can take a look at the drivetrain. This drivetrain is a little bit complicated and perhaps could have been more simple if I didn't want to mount everything at the bottom, but I wanted to keep the main body of the tower simple, and this is not as complicated as it looks. The first stage is just a simple gear reduction, and I only have one stage of that. The second stage is this crank to this rocker, and the idea is that the tower only needs to move a certain amount to bring the balls from one, uh, one landing to another, and the ratio of this crank to this rocker will govern how much the tower moves in its 
full travel. The third stage is this gear to this gear, and this actually does two things. Uh, this rocker is going side to side, while the tower needs to go up and down. So the two gears will translate that motion, and basically adjusting the offset of these two gears will make sure that the tower is at the end of its travel when this rocker is at the end of its travel, and vice versa. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the GBC Tower. Hope you enjoyed and have a nice day.